Hello there, everybody. Welcome. It's me, JT the Bee Guy, and we're here at the Tapstone Inn here at my hives. We're looking at some bees that are enjoying a late fall snack. It's November. It's a week after the snowstorm. We had 16 inches of snow here at the Tapstone Inn last Saturday, a week ago. Today is Monday, November 7th, and we have a hive that seems to have perished. It seemed that the bees completely absconded from that hive. There were no bees inside the hive. There were only about a dozen dead bees laying at the bottom, and everyone else had packed up and left the house, and what they left behind were 12 beautiful frames of fully drawn honey. So I took the honey out of the hives, I extracted some of it, and I decided to feed it back here to the girls. So these girls here at the Tapstone Inn are enjoying a late fall snack of honey and pollen that resides in this comb. The girls will be needing as much nutrients as they can get now to store up and get ready for their long winter stay. This winter they will be clustering inside the hive, staying warm, staying a week, staying awake and constantly eating as well and that eating takes a lot of energy it takes a lot of honey and a lot of pollen so this gives the girls an opportunity on these warm days we're going to have this week temperatures in the mid 60s until monday of next week so they have an opportunity to fly and to gather some honey nectar and pollen from this comb here that they'll be taking back to their own houses and enjoying in abundance. How many bees are here? Well, let's just move it. And you can see that there are hundreds of bees flying about and immediately they go back to get back to work to finish what they're doing. It's me, JT the Bee Guy, here with you at the Tapstone Inn on Monday, the 7th of November. And I'll certainly look forward to hearing back from you, seeing you, and sharing more stories about beekeeping in spring of 2012. Thanks for checking in with me, JT the Bee Guy, and I'll look forward to seeing you next spring.